Hello everyone, this is Juan from Ken Hub and welcome to another anatomy tutorial. For this time we're going to be talking about the blood vessels of the esophagus. And in order to do so, we're going to be looking at this image here that you see, which is an interior view of the open thorax where we removed a lot of the structures, especially muscles. And you can then be left with all these blood vessels that we're going to be talking about. And just for a bit of location, you can see here the esophagus. You notice here just in front of the esophagus, this structure, which is very important, structure of the respiratory system, the trachea, and a bit of the stomach here. Separating the thorax and the abdomen, you find this structure or this muscle, which is known as the diaphragm. And the first structures we're going to be covering here on this tutorial are the arteries of the esophagus. And there are a few structures here that are also directly what we know as the arterial blood supply of the esophagus. So the structures that will actually be supplying the esophagus. But there are a lot of arteries that you can see here. So we're also going to talk about these structures because they are found nearby the esophagus. So as you can see, this is a network of blood vessels, specifically arteries, that we're going to be covering, starting off with the main one, which is then the aorta and the esophageal branches, which will then be supplying the esophagus. But we're going to also talk about the right and left common carotid, the posterior intercostal, which you see here also on this image, the inferior phrenic, the left gastric and also some esophageal branches that we're going to be seeing and also the common hepatic artery. We're also going to talk about the splenic artery, the right and left subclavian arteries, the brachiocephalic trunk that you see here on this image as well, and the thyrocervical trunk. So all of these structures are listed as arteries that we find here on this image and they are connected to one another somehow. We're going to start off with the very first one, very first structure that you see here highlighted in green. This one is known as the ascending aorta. Now this is a part of the largest blood vessel in your body, the aorta, that will be exiting the left ventricle. And if you show here, if I show you here this image of the interior view of the heart, you can see now the ascending aorta highlighted in green. You can also see here another structure that follows the ascending aorta, which is then the aortic arch. And as the aorta turns here on the aortic arch, it goes down and becomes then what we know as the descending aorta. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.